Billy, what have you done? I think yesterday, Sean, we took security measures a little bit too far and now the gates won't open. <laughs> That's no good, mate. <laughs> we've so got to be able to get in there. It's nine o'clock, and yeah, we're get in. we're stuck. We used to be in this side of the gate. Yeah, we side. are. Um, right. What are we going to do? I've got no keys on me to open any of the exterior doors, which yeah. isn't a great thing. No. We can't get through the chapel. No. Um, You've done a good job of security. Yeah, we have. Somebody does have a spare key, I think, that may open one of these doors on the left. So, um, we'll wait for them quickly. Yeah, that's the trouble when you've got these sort of keys. I thought it was me, you know I'm like with electrics. I don't know why it's not working. I have trouble with the coffee machine, but <laughs> I thought I broke it. <laughs> I don't fancy climbing over those gates, Sean. Not all those spikes up there. No, definitely not. Mm. Uh, yeah, we'll just have to... We'll have uh, to just wait about, mate. We'll have to wait, yeah. Yep. Morning. Morning. You got the key, Dad? Yeah, you got the key. Oh, I thought you meant to... Didn't say to give you a key to bring down. No. <laughs> because no, the no. gates won't open. No. So we've been sat here for about half an hour so far. I've never said I've just come away now. Oh, Alright, doesn't matter. She's probably going to come down in a minute. Yeah. I thought maybe she would give you the keys and come down. No, she didn't realise. Oh, never mind. Hello. Hi. You got the key? Yeah, there you go. Thank you. I think the latches are on the other side. Yep, the latches are definitely on the other side. Well, those keys don't work either. Well, it does work, but the latches are on the other side. Okay. Yeah, this uh, is, uh, proving a bit more tricky than we thought. Yeah. Um, hmm. Plan C? Plan C would be uh, climbing over or something. Wouldn't I'm going to climb over somewhere. <laughs> You can direct me once I'm in. But the problem is if you're over the if you're over the in wall, the garden, can't get all, those all those doors are locked. All those doors are locked. So uh, yeah. This shouldn't be going on YouTube. No. Well if you do manage to get in this way, we'll have to uh no, he's undoing the top of the arm and taking it off and we have to move through it. Yay! Hey! Billy saves the day. Right, well, that can't go on YouTube. No, no definitely not. <laughs> We're finally in, Sean. Yeah, you done well, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think we was going to get in. I don't know why the electric was off in that apartment. Summer, isn't it? So Duncan um, was meant to put the electric on for the gates, like a permanent feed. Yeah. Because at the moment it's on a temporary feed from the apartment Sadie's currently renovating. Oh, okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Um, and for some reason her electric was off this morning. Hmm. So that's why the gates weren't open. Yeah. Um, but. You know, when the actual electrical feed's put in, it should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have to test security. Yeah, that we did. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that we wasn't know what we've got to tweak. Because there, when I, when I was having coffee at home this morning, I looked on the camera and I saw you standing, outside, standing outside, outside. And yeah. I was thinking, oh, maybe Sean forgot his key fob or something like that, or maybe he brought a different car this morning. No, I was like, <laughs> what have I done? I broke it again. <laughs> Anyway, we're in there, aren't we? Yeah, we better crack on, mate. Yeah, we better start work. Let's do some work.
I've got an idea, Sean. Have you now? Right. While um, you're using the lift, I can't do much more insulation in this area. No. But um, I've been thinking last night about an idea mm -hmm. about the kitchen units. Right. And it will probably save some money and Good. it will be recycling old things that are in the convent. So, if we go on a little bit of a wonder yeah, all the way right. to the very top floor and into the attic, there is something up there that I think we could reuse and recycle. Okay. And I think there's more of it above the garage. Right, so three out. All the way up. Mm -hmm. As far as we can go, Sean. Yeah. Put that lunch off. Stairs. They are beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. Always admire the workmanship in these. I have as well. One of my favourite features, other than the chapel. Yeah, definitely. The picture of the stairs. Top of the shop. All the way up. All the way up into the attic. We got masks on. Yep. Right, on our left here, Sean, there is a piece of the 18th century interior of the convent. Lovely. And it's got built in doors. Yep. And I believe there's more of it above the garage. Okay. So we should. I'll put this camera down. We'll have a closer look, eh? We'll have a closer look, yeah. Put tape measure. Okay, brilliant. Let me put this down. Here we go. <laughs> Camera is now situated on the floor. Let's level it. There we go. All right. Yeah. To me. To you. To me. Right. That's it. Now we'll just rest it along here. Yeah. Yep. Just watch the camera there, mate. Yep. Come that side of it. There we go. Oh, that's lovely. Right. That's actually quite nice, isn't it, Sean? Yeah, it is. So you've got two doors. In fact, three doors. We've got, yeah. We've got a dummy one at that end. Yeah, a dummy one here. And then. That's your one there. Okay. Now let's go to the garage. <laughs> let's get some fresh air. Let's get some fresh air. Let's get out of here. Right, if we open both doors, Sean. So we've got plenty of light in there. It's quite dark up there. It looks a bit longer. It's not the same design, is it? No, not quite. I can see where you're coming from there. I was hoping it would be the same design. Three point four. Three point four. Yeah. Uh, that's not to say that we can't do something with it, but yeah, I'd rather the units would match though. That's the only thing. Yeah. Yeah. There's no doors in this. No. It's just paneling. Um. Yeah. Have we got any more ideas? Okay. The other option was we've got to go back into the convent upstairs again. Right. Come on then. Let's go. Oh, it was worth checking. It was definitely. Yeah. This would be a nice space yeah. at some point. Very interesting structure. Mm. Welcome to cell number one, well, Sean. Well, I've been naughty. You have been naughty, we'll yeah. Be cell. So we've got um, 40 odd, maybe even 50 of these doors, Sean. And modern regulations dictate that the doorways need to be a certain width and height. Right, yeah. And when we do the bedrooms, we can't keep these doors. No. And it's a shame because they're the original 18th century doors to each cell. However, I think repurposing them as potentially, well, just at least 10 of them mm. for a custom kitchen. Cool. What do you think? My thumbs up there, mate. Yeah. I mean, um, we preserve and use this. Yeah. So I like the top design. Yeah. The bottom square is, you know, it's quite nice. This one, yeah. It's just like a fielded panel on it. But what we need to work out, Sean, is if we can essentially um, make kitchen unit doors just for a base unit, which which will be about nine meters long. Yeah. Um, make the top units. Obviously, we have to cut the doors in half, essentially, and yeah. shorten the top part or the short top portion to seventy or eighty. Seventy. Seventy-five. Yeah. Seventy-five. Right yeah. That. Depends on how deep we have the kicker ball. Yeah. But yeah, it means removing this rail, deconstructing the door, yeah. taking these pegs out, yeah. as a mortise and tenant need. Yeah. So, so, you're talk so you're talking about deconstructing the door, reusing this section, yeah. and Moving bringing it up. it up. Yeah, essentially. Making the door 70. 
Yeah, 75. Around 75, that. yeah. Not really specific at this time, but mm -hmm. yeah, sort of that route, that top line there. Yeah. Well, no, actually, that bottom line there, that one there, mm -hmm. have to be here. Yeah, okay. So just basically moving that. So there. this would be done with a router piece. Yeah, router. A single um, router piece, and then the mortars and tenon would be. Do it by hand as well. I've got a machine to do it as You've well. You've got a machine to do it, okay. But yeah, as long as they come apart okay. Mm -hmm. about destroying the fabric okay. and the yeah. door. If not, it's using the bottom section. Yeah, a little bit less character, but... Less character, but still as nice, yeah. Still as nice, yeah. But, yeah, we'll, we'll have to have a play with a single door. Yeah, we'll, we'll take the worst one off, maybe. Yeah, this one's got a cat flap, hasn't it? <laughs> or a big mouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure what that's for. Yeah, they've cut the bottoms of the doors down already. They already have, they yeah. put this flooring. Yeah, they, they raised that. the... Uh, 100 mil. Yeah, it would be at the bottom, yeah. Yeah, it would have been at the bottom as well. So what I'm thinking, Sean, is use the original locks for the front. Look at that. And also using the original hinges as well. Yeah. Which are beautiful, aren't they? Look at these rubbish, huh? <laughs> yeah, these are all hand wrought iron. Hand wrought iron, yeah. Not blacksmith. So we could uh, utilise them as well. Brilliant. Yeah, this looks good. Yeah. Okay. It's not the worst, it's not the best. It should just lift off, Sean. You right with that? Whoa. Oh, <laughs> so that's one dowel out. One dowel. Look at that, Sean. Beautiful, isn't it? Beautiful construction. Yeah. I mean, how easy that was to dismantle was. Yeah. Just down to the craftsmanship. A credit is. to their craftsmanship. Definitely. You know, 250 years. Yeah, 250 years ago. Brilliant. Maybe, yeah, that'd be a good idea. Look at that. Yeah. Done by hand. It is, it's fantastic, the amount of work that's gone into that. So essentially, if we bring it up to the unit now, and we just sort of place it on the bottom. Yeah. Bring it up to wherever we want. Yeah, wherever the door, whatever door size we're gonna work out. Yeah, just repeat that yeah. recess there, further up. Yeah, it's doable. Definitely. So I need to find a router bit that matches this. Yeah. So that's it, Sean. I think we've made our mind up. Definitely. If we steal 10 doors from upstairs, yeah. we're still going to have 30, 30, 30, maybe even 40 still left over. Yeah. Um, we could maybe use them in the future for like, I don't know, cup, like, like cupboard cupboards. doors and yeah. things like that for bedrooms. I'm not sure exactly, but I think we should definitely stick with this idea rather yeah. than a modern kitchen where we use what we've got because yeah, I think it's, it's, it's better. The, the, the problem is the kitchen project's got out of hand a little bit with the budget so far. And I think rather than going to splash out 20, 30 grand on a kitchen, we could yeah. probably do this much cheaper. Yeah, definitely. Reusing stuff that's already in the convent. Yeah. More in, yeah. More in keeping with what we've got. Exactly. I mean, you can't have that replicated. You can't have it replicated, no. Yeah. Definitely not. Brilliant. Well, thanks a lot, mate. And uh, once we obviously get the room ready for this unit, we'll start yeah. building it. Yeah. Once again. <laughs> and we've got a lot of room in the refectory to turn into a workshop for, yeah. for building this unit. Yeah. Tools in. yeah. I've got some big machines in it. Yeah. So that's it for today, everyone. Thank you so much for watching this video. At least we've made a start with the insulation. And we've got sort of a solid plan for the kitchen design reusing and recycling the old doors from upstairs so i quite like this idea we'll see how it goes and see where we go with it so thanks for watching and i'll see you all tomorrow